Greetings my saplings, in today's video we are going to be discussing the Jordan 1 not for resale. Specifically in today's video we'll be discussing some release info for the sneakers and some background information, how to cop the sneakers and of course uh, like always we'll be talking about some resale predictions for those of you who are interested but just personally I'm definitely going to be rocking my pair if I get these and I suggest that you guys do the same but of course it's up to you. Anyway, we're going to kick it off with the background information for this sneaker. If you guys are not interested in the background information, and you're solely here for the head of cop, that's fine. Feel free to skip to this portion of the video, but for the rest of you, let's jump right into this. The Jordan 1 Not For Resale. It's a shoe designed to take out of the box. Put your feet in, walk around, practice wearing. Let's get familiar with your feet. Let's get dirtier and steadier. This shoe can fulfill the role as the pair of pride by wearing you. It is strictly prohibited to put it up for sale, as well as keeping it without wearing it. This is the latest Jordan 1. The Jordan 1 not for resale. So as you guys know by now, there are two pairs releasing. First of all, we already saw that the yellow pair released as an LA exclusive. However, we will later see that pair being released again in December. And later, I'll explain why this potentially may be very important and relevant to this red drop. So like I was saying, there is another shoe as well, and that is the red one. That's the one we're talking about today. Now, both of these sneakers, whether it's red or the yellow pair, they have unique details that illustrate a stigma for reselling these shoes or just any shoe in general for instance we see a message on the midsole that reads not for reset but moving to the heel cup of the sneaker we have another embroidered text we have no embroidered on the left sneaker and photos embroidered on the right sneaker which ironically reads no photos on the interior of the shoe we have general release in there which is also rather ironic considering there's only 18,000 pairs of these and honestly guys to put that up to scale that is absolutely terrible don't count your chickens before they hatch on this release the homage to home Jordan one at about 30,000, maybe 26,000 in that vicinity. Finally, on the tongue's label, where we would normally see the Nike logo, we have wear on the right shoe and me on the left shoe, which reads wear me. Honestly, guys, I really like the idea of this shoe. I think it's really unique and I'm kind of glad that they decided to do something like this and get out of their comfort zone. Of course, if they really wanted to eliminate resellers, all they have to do is reach a supply and demand equilibrium. Of course, they're not going to do that and they know they're not doing that with 18,000 pairs, but it's all right, guys. They know exactly what they're doing. And I can make an entire video on why why they will never do this, why they will never reach a complete equilibrium, because keeping some pairs limited will inevitably increase long-term demand for future releases. But anyway, that's not the point. I don't want to go off on a tangent. You also might notice that for some tier zero retailers, they will actually make you wear the pair out of the store, which honestly, I think is a pretty cool idea. But with all that out of the way, this sneaker releases on November 7th for $160. Again, 18,000 pairs, so don't count your chickens before they hatch. All right, so with the background information out of the way, why don't we jump into how to cop these sneakers? So first of all, I know there's a lot of you wondering, Keith, we need online retailers. We need places that will actually ship to us. And unfortunately, there's not too many of those, at least so far what I've seen, just because a lot of these stores are going with the policy that they want you to wear them out of their shop, which is understandable, I guess. So far, the only shipper that I did find, other than Nike sneakers, and we'll talk about them later, is on the Frenzy app exhibition actually has these and what's great about this is it's actually global shipping luckily you don't have to spoof location or anything they should ship to you no matter where you are the way frenzy is going to release these is just through a first come first serve process you're going to want to be as fast as possible and you should also set up apple pay if you have the option to do so now in addition to exhibition on the frenzy app i'm assuming that more will most likely pop up so i would just keep your eye on the frenzy app before the 7th because occasionally some overseas retailers do release these um, the day before like on the night of the 6th around there so I would suggest just checking on the app every once in a while but anyway moving on from then of course there's going to be tons and tons of in-store raffles and also in-store first come first serve so let me give you guys a couple of those for people who might be interested in camping out and really grinding for these shoes but like I've been mentioning this isn't necessarily your ordinary release a lot of these stores are going to make you wear the pair outside some of them might even collect the box from you so I just want you guys to be aware of this possibility in case some of these stores
followers do enforce it. I don't want you wasting your time if you're not okay with any of this. Anyway, the first store we're gonna be mentioning is Wish Atlanta. Wish Atlanta will have an in-store release and I'm gonna put the address on the screen right now for you guys to view. So if you're within driving distance of here, say one to two hours, maybe a little more than that, maybe a little less than that, I would suggest checking them out. I would definitely suggest getting there at 3 a.m. local time if that's a possibility for you guys. I know it sounds really crazy for a lot of the new guys out there, but honestly, I've been at first come first serves where people have been lined up since 12 a.m. or even before that. But if you get there by 3 a.m., I could probably say that you're most likely going to get a pair, but again, I can't guarantee you anything. These are very limited. Anyway, another first come first serve includes Oneness, if I pronounced that right. This is another one where you're actually gonna have to wear the pair outside, unfortunately, and they did state here that they're gonna be collecting the boxes. This one is in Lexington, and I'll put the address for this store on the screen right now. If you guys are in distance of this store, feel free to check them out. And the last one I'm gonna be mentioning is for anyone who happens to be within Tokyo or just close to there and willing to camp out and take a drive, I'll put the address for the store that's releasing them there. Now, there's also gonna be a lot of in-store raffles too where you're gonna have to pick them up or there might be some where you actually have to go there to sign up. For all of the links for these raffles, like always, I'm gonna put them on my Twitter. I'm also thinking that there's going to be some raffles that will actually ship to you guys, but I can't guarantee this, obviously. If any of these do come up, they will be on my Twitter. My Twitter is KeithAdam10. It's just a very simple way for me to reach you guys efficiently. But anyway, with all that out of the way, let's move on to Nike sneakers because this is probably the most important part. So first of all, Europe is having the week of the ones going on. And everyone in the US, I know I'm talking about EU, but I highly recommend listening up because this is relevant to you guys as well. Let me show you why. So EU will be getting the shadows on the 5th, which is today. So they got the 30 minute draw or something for the shadows. Then on the 6th, they have the PSG ones, just like US has them. And then on the 7th, they're going to be having the not for resale Jordan 1s and possibly bread toes on the 8th. I know a lot of people have been saying court purples, but bread toes are also a possibility. Anyway, so we know that on the 7th, these will be releasing for Europe, but it might not be your traditional release. The product page hasn't come up yet, but granted the product page for the shadows didn't come up for a while as well. And they also have not yet loaded up onto Nike sneakers Europe. US didn't load up either, but still don't stress and I'll explain why. The only place that loaded them up so far was Nike sneakers Japan. That's where I got the thing I was reading from earlier in the video. And there still is a chance that US will be getting them. So for US and Europe, if they hypothetically drop for US, don't expect your traditional drop. Don't expect what you normally see. A shock drop is definitely possible where they just drop a Leo on us. And of course you wanna enter in as many accounts as possible. So just stay aware for notifications on the day of the 7th, whether you're in US or Europe. And then of course, like we saw with the Serena Williams Blazers, a scratch drop is a very high likelihood of happening as well. And honestly, a scratch drop would make sense considering they're so great for manual users, considering no bots are able to cop off of these as well. You have to go completely manual for this. Of course, they did kind of mess it up on the last release where they made it Android first and then iPhone users only had like 10% of the stock left when it finally started working. So hopefully we would see an equivalent release time, whether it's a shock drop or a scratch drop. Hypothetically, if it does happen to be a scratch drop, you would most likely have to scratch the midsole of the sneaker. It's probably gonna be completely blank and you'll have to scratch it and reveal the text that reads not for resale or perhaps it might be the heel couple issue and you might have to scratch the embroidered text something along the lines of that and if a video does happen to pop up all you got to do is go to the top left corner of your screen hit the x it's very subtle you might not really see it just tap up there video is going to go away and you'll have a chance to purchase these but again we don't know if this is going to be a scratch we don't know if it's going to be a shock drop who knows, they might drop a draw on you guys as well, just like they did for the shadows. So just look out for any of the stuff out of the ordinary on the 7th. You should definitely be ready for anything that day. Anyway, moving on, hypothetically, if the red pair does not drop for US, here's what might happen. The yellow pair that's supposed to be releasing in December, it's possible that those might be a US exclusive for sneakers only. Of course, when it comes to tier zero retailers, you should probably see Europe and US getting them and Canada as well. But regarding Nike sneakers, if the red pair doesn't drop, we might very well see the yellow pair being US exclusive. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Make sure you turn on post notifications and subscribe if you happen to be new. But with the head of cop out of the way, why don't we move on to some resale 
predictions. So again, guys, just for clarification, I'm going to be rocking my pairs. First of all, because I don't think they're a bad looking pair at all. Definitely not my favorite pair, but just for the culture, of course, I'll definitely put them straight to feet. If not, it's totally cool. You guys do what you guys want to do. They're definitely going to be profitable if you're interested in reselling them. I know, I know it's ironic. So there's already decent demand for these, but the main thing is that there's only 18,000 pairs, which is crazy limited. Pre-sale is already looking crazy, but don't expect those prices to last. Regardless, they're still going to be very profitable. I would suggest that the best sizes are going to be any sizes under 10, so nine and a half and lower. Those will be your best bets. And even sizes over 10 should be similar to what we saw with the homage to home one. So still profitable, just not as crazy as the sizes under 10. And even if you wear your pair out, because I know a lot of stores might make you do that, I do trust that they still will be profitable. So perhaps list them on GOAT, eBay, any place like that, perhaps even Facebook groups, local, whatever you guys want to do. Trust that they still will be profitable regardless of if you wear them or not. And for those of you who were wondering if you're interested in selling on StockX, you do need the box. And I understand some of these stores might actually take the box from you. So I'm just trying to keep you guys aware of all the possibilities. With that though, I will conclude today's video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if you perhaps learned a thing or two. Also, subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay 100% updated on these shoes. Really any hype shoe that's going to be releasing in the future. With that, I'll leave you guys. Good luck on this release and have a fantastic rest of your day. You always in my way, knocking me over every single day. Get your foot off my foot, ah. Get your foot off my foot, yeah. I should have run the other way. Now there's just one thing to say. Get your foot off my foot, ah.